Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, so we are currently in the Institute. Last video, we discovered that Sean is like 60 years old. He's pretty much lived almost a full life in a way. And he is the leader of the Institute. Um, and he was originally kidnapped because the Institute needed his DNA to create the human synths because I guess all the other humans' DNA was kind of like irradiated and tainted in a way. Um, so in a way, we are like the genetic grandmother of all of the human synths. So that's very interesting. Um, so yeah, they're all our family. So in a way, this little Sean synth here is our son. And I, I want him. She like is like, how can I get him out? <laughs> Anyways, so we don't agree with anything the Institute has done, but we're going to play along for now to kind of learn a little bit about them um, and go from there. I don't know. Should I just take everything? I need glasses and ceramics, so... Well, we're going to just take all the glass that we can find. And yeah, we have a couple quests here to talk to some people in the Institute, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, I guess we'll just... Should I just take everything until I can't carry it? <laughs> okay. Alright, so... Where are we exactly? Let's see. Okay, so institutionalized. Okay, I found my son who is now 60 years old and the leader of the Institute. I've accepted his invitation to join the Institute and need to int introduce myself to the department heads. All right, so you guys are saying I have not chosen like a faction yet, which is good. So I still don't know. In my opinion, the Brotherhood of Steel are like, the antagonists because they hate all synths so they hate like my family I don't know that's just in my character's opinion all right all right I guess I need to meet the faction leaders I just take everything <laughs> we'll just like loot what we can Ooh, Sean's terminal password the Sean's terminal. All right, let's take a look at this. Institute Central Network, long and admin. Okay. All right, Director Terminal 1A, status normal. Let's see, Kellogg Conrad, enhanced life expectancy. July 16th, 2285. Kellogg's occasional presence continues to unnerve the others. At first, I thought they were merely intimidated by his confidence and arrogance or perhaps even afraid of his general being. Kellogg is, after all, a killer. But as I've continued to witness their reactions, gauge their sidelong glances, I've detected something else, something I probably should have anticipated, jealousy. Kellogg is a living memorial to a forgotten program. He is an augmented human being, a cyborg, really, and the benefits he has received cannot be denied. But really, the scientists here could not care less about enhanced reflexes or greater combat efficiency. No, the cause of their envy is something more practical, more primal, his enhanced life expectancy. Just how long will Kellogg live if he passes naturally, however unlikely that may be? It's hard to say. He's already more than 100 years old, older certainly than any other human in the Commonwealth. His complete physiology has been altered. Perhaps he'll make it to 150, maybe even 200. Let the petty have their petty jealousies. Kellogg is a living testament to the ingenuity and superiority of the Institute, and I take no small pleasure in knowing that must irritate him to no end. Hmm. Okay, status reports. Bioscience. Hydroponics programs functional. FEV lab offline. Robotics. Synth output nominal. Production materials fully stocked. Advanced systems. Child synth project under quarterly review. Weapons diagnostics ongoing. Phase 3 behind schedule. 
SRB, Director Zimmer still offline, above ground operative, terminated, retention programs, functional. Personal notes. The wait continues. AO can only confirm sightings outside Vault 111 and again in Diamond City sometime later. What that means, I'm not sure. Will we actually meet? Was this all for nothing? No, not nothing. I will have learned valuable things about myself, my past either way. I cannot afford to let emotion get in the way. I must simply observe and record. I'm told Kellogg has gone offline. Strangely, I find myself thinking of Dr. Walker. He had such high hopes for Kellogg, such faith in the implants and what they could mean. I still regret eliminating that project, but I know but I but I know where it would have led us. Walker was never shy about his goals, and too many others were starting to listen. In the end, I believe I was justified. The Institute is about preserving humanity and not some bizarre amal amalgamation of biology and technology. Director access of synth shutdown. Status normal. Okay. trees it's been so long since we've seen a real tree call this a clean floor are your visual receptors malfunctioning can you not see the grime and dust hi make all systems you're nominal. clearly defective and i intend to report this perhaps after you've been disassembled we can use your components to make something that's actually useful Rest see me as little more than a glorified repair band, but I'm as much a scientist as any of them. Hey, Doc. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. Mm. If that's how you feel, why not leave? Because we could do so much more. But no, everyone is obsessed with these damn synths. It's wasted potential. That's what it is. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Hmm. So not everyone in the Institute likes the Institute. Welcome to the Institute, ma'am. Hi. It's an honor to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> if you need medical attention, see Dr. Volkert. Will this, will this go around in like a giant circle? I think so. So much to loot. Ooh, clean towels. Advanced system notes. I think he's actually lost his mind. I can't believe he really expects me to do this. 
I've always been on board with the Gen 3 program. It makes sense, but this? Nothing good can come from this. How am I supposed to explain to my staff that Sean wants a child synth for no immediately apparent valid line of research? And to base the physical features off records of his own childhood? It defies all logic. No, I can't do this. I won't. Hmm. Should I change into institute attire? Let's see. No, I hate it. Status. All functions normal. A shower, <laughs> a real shower. All right, I guess we got to go down a level to talk to all the doctors and stuff. Let's see. I think I was already here. Yeah, we've like cleared out this room. Can I go in here? No. Sean. Hello, Sean. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Thank you. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary Greetings, drive, ma'am. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh. I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected life. Seems like Valentine. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. Excuse me, doctor. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Hmm. Finding my son and avenging my husband. We'll say finding my I son. I just wanted to find my son. And keep him safe. And avenge my husband him. equally. I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a huh. quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, 
We keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here. Not like Topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? What can I requisition? I have access to a modest selection of arms, armor, and other items approved for use in field missions. I've got a few minutes to browse. Hmm. Ooh. Wow, I have no coins. I want that. Institute jumper, Institute lab to Institute division head coat. Ooh, enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking and not moving. Do I have any drugs to barter? Probably not. Hmm. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. We're all looking forward to working with you. I will be happy to forward your request Thank you. to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, Please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I have so much stuff to lose. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. Give me all of the materials. Wow, so many clean cups. Take all their coffee. Hello. Please ensure that your dietary requirements are being filled. What have you got? I can offer a range of nutritious and great tasting food supplements. Food supplement 7 is very popular for its spicy flavor. And food supplement 91 is our newest offering. Let's see what you got.
I'll go up there after. Examine my latest reports on Batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Hmm, well, interesting. that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. So yeah, people working for Director the Institute Holdren don't seems agree. very taken with you. Does he? Doc? Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very interesting, but now simply isn't a good time. Ooh, working on something important? Uh, all of my work is important. Now, if you're quite finished, I'd very much like to get back to these mental equations. They're difficult enough without the distractions. Equations for what? Uh, honestly, you wouldn't understand them. Bitch. No, I'm afraid I must Try. end this little chat, although it's been so very diverting. <laughs> what a dick. I'm Sean's mother. You owe me freaking respect. Okay, where's this guy I have to talk to? You? Dr. Holden's <gasps> Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising oh. results. Synth Gorillas? That's cool. Where's Dr. Holdern? There you are. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Okay. Hi, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Hmm. I take this stuff now. You're here. Glad you made it. Child synth. It's just remarkable. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. Are you okay? Dr. Carlin? Most men lack the patience to observe and document plant growth. 
Okay. So I need to talk to one more person, it looks like. ceramics. Okay, so Bioscience Terminal 2D, SZI Phase 2 Development, Synthetic Zoological Initiative Phase 2 Development Journal, Initial Thoughts, What to Create, We've Engineered Creatures That Inhabit the Sky and the Land, The Next Logical Step is a Creature of the Sea, The Greatest Challenge Remains Data Collection, Accurate Measurements, Behavioral Data, Life Cycle Habitats, etc. Might and the hat have something useful note to self request that we allocate a scavenger team to that area warwick homestead initiative mission statement the warwick homestead initiative was conceived to facilitate field testing of various genetically modified specimens in unique climate of the commonwealth it is hoped that we gain insight into the effects of trace radiation on the growth and development of said specimens we of the Bioscience Division are in full agreement on the following hypothesis. Subjected to the proper levels of ambient radiation and soil pH such as those found in the exceptionally fertile soil of Warwick Homestead, our modified seed specimens are likely to exhibit accelerated growth rate and twofold increase in size. Okay, project implementation stage one using genetic manipulation, we will develop a unique breed of cooker by Tassier. I did not say that right, with similar characteristics to those commonly farmed in the Commonwealth. Phase, or sorry, stage two, acquire Roger Warwick, patriarch of the Warwick Homestead, and conduct a series of intensive interrogation sessions to learn all we can about his life and family. Hmm. Stage three, with the intelligence gathered in stage two, create a synth replica of Roger Warwick and embed the unit on site at Warwick Homestead to oversee the operation directly. SRV will handle logistics of... Oh, sorry. Uh, this aspect of the initiative. Stage four, begin convert deliveries of prototype and seed batches for planting. Stage five, collect observational data from embedded unit. Stage six, when sufficient data has been collected, retrieve synth unit and specimens for lab study. Purge all surface evidence of the initiative. Status reports. Batch P761 ready for shipment. Delivery complete. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Is that one of my homesteads? That name sounds very familiar. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to pay them a visit. Where am I? Ooh, 
this place looks older than the rest. This is the EFB lab. Oh shit. The music changed too. Did you guys notice the music stopped when I entered this part? Got it. Okay, this map is slightly useful. Okay, so I'm currently here. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna come back and explore that area. So it's near like this hydroponics lab. Okay. I don't wanna piss Sean off yet. He's our son, but is he our son? Well, like, he is, like, genetically our son, but we don't know him. Department notices. Our special guest has arrived. Now that our guest of honor is here, I want to remind everyone to be polite, accommodating, and welcoming. It is not often we receive visitors from the surface, and this occasion is more special than most. I know I can count on all of you to extend a hand of friendship and greet our visitor with the utmost hospitality. Let's embrace this exciting event and make the best first impression we possibly can. Director Holdren. Power conservation. When we first implemented the new power efficiency guidelines, I was proud at how well we were able to meet those standards with only a minimal impact on our productivity. It was a daunting challenge, but we rose to meet it. Lately, however, we've been getting lax in our habits. Too often I'm finding lights and equipment left on when they shouldn't be, and the environment settings have been changed without my authorization. Let's rededicate ourselves to doing what's right for the needs of the Institute as a whole. After all, this isn't just our home. It's a home for the future generations who will carry on the greater work of building a better future. Synth zoology, the next step. I have some exciting news to share with all of you. Father has approved the next phase of my proposed synth zoology initiative, and I'm already in the process of setting up a schedule for the initial prototyping phase. As has always been the case, this is a low priority project, but those of you who find yourselves with free time are welcome to contribute. I'll need to make a few preliminary decisions, not the least of which is kind of what creature will want to replicate. 
I don't have to tell you how eager I am to begin, and I can't wait to see what amazing things we can do given our recent advances in synth development. Hmm. Oh wait, there's access logs. There's more. Soil pH values. Did I turn off the interferometer? Nothing to report, ma'am. Good. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. Hmm. Lecture on what are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? You know I can't talk about that. Three levels of approval. Do you believe that? Three! She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. I wish I had more time to spend with Quentin, but I can't be in two places at once. I haven't been able to crack that one yet. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Whoa. Nice lipstick. That was productive. I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but lately I prefer less animated pursuits. It's really exciting having you here. I can't wait to see what you can do. Doctor? Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. So many fusion cells. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. In case anyone didn't mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Hey, Doc. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. Rules create order, and order promotes efficiency. How many rules are we talking about here? <laughs> Not nearly enough, if you ask me. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. Snacky. Sounds good. Take care then. What? Advanced Systems, Terminal 3B, View Access Logs. Let's see, Research Proposals, Updating Findings on Child Synth Development, Submitting Regulation Updates, blah, blah, blah. Regulation Updates, Review Permissions for Assigning Sidearms to Personnel, SRB Recommendations to Increase Security, Have Overridden Any Normal Procedures for Allowing Institute Scientists to Carry Firearms. 
Training for said firearms also needs to be updated. Reconsider entry to parts of mental network access. Certain divisions appear to be abusing this. Security systems need to be reviewed by facilities division ASAP. Given recent events, it is extremely important that the incident be prepared for any conceivable situation, no matter how unlikely Dr. Io has requested this for some time, and I am now inclined to agree with him. Personal notes. I have in the last 24 hours observed no less than seven blatant uh, violations of institute protocol. The degree to which people appear to ignore the rules which have been put in place to keep us all safe is incredibly disappointing. Madison insists that I continue the testing battery with a child synth. Despite my reservations about the project as a whole, if this were any other situation, I would not have second thoughts about going straight to the director, but given the circumstances, I shall simply wait it out. So I don't have full access to everywhere in here. Hmm. Rushed work is sloppy at best and deadly at worst. Dr. Lee has been spending more and more time in her lab with the kid synth thing. It's creepy and I can't help but wonder if she's getting a little too attached. Evan has rejected my last 12 proposals. I don't know how to get through to that man at all. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Hmm. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's, well, it's, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Hmm. Ooh. I guess I can't use her terminal. Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here, then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you father's orders you're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the institute at will thank you i'm sure that will come in handy given that the relay is the only way to access the institute handy is something of an understatement in case the significance is lost on you you'll be the only one here with that kind of access if nothing else it should demonstrate the amount of trust father has placed in you now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. What do you Dr. mean? Dr. Lee? Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Dr. Lee? Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. 
Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Dr. Lee? I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. <laughs> It's like real trees. We haven't seen a real tree in so long. Oh. personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Just a routine patrol, ma'am. <laughs> Our new sense are so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. Excuse me, Doctor. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you come to think of the Institute as your home. What do you do here? Oh, I'm in charge of housing and provisions. It's my mission to ensure that everyone lives a comfortable and productive life. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Dr. Oberly. People on the surface have got it pretty bad. Makes me thankful for being down here. Operating at full capacity. Please don't get any germs on me. Robotics need to knock some heads together. What now? They're Always be vigilant. The targeting package we upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results. And will this time as well. You'll see. <clears throat> I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. We need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. What's Justin doing that's causing friction? Oh, he's just pushy and demanding. He thinks his problem should be everyone's biggest concern. I have to admit, though, the other divisions have never taken our needs as seriously as they should. I guess they see us as a necessary evil or something. It's really not fair. Oh, just listen to me. It's the first chance we've had to get acquainted, and all I want to do is complain. In any case, it was good to meet you. You too, Alana. Where's Justin? If the robotics division was a little more careful, we wouldn't have synths trying to escape. Doctor? So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precaution, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding hmm. among the human population on the surface. Oh, you should go to Good Harbor. Um, let's play dumb. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient. Trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, 
I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Corsair should be more than a match for any single combatant. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. <sighs> As if we don't have enough probes. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a Corsair has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. That's awful. Justin? Yes? What do you need? If you're the acting head of the SRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. Dr. Ayo. What do you want? And please, make it quick. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach hmm. them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Target tracking. Let's see. Um, unit C2 41 unit at large investigation underway. Uh, let's see. Last sighting is in Good Neighbor. No recent sightings. Unit believed to be in railroad custody. Mem wipe likely performed by now. Unit 5943 unit at large investigation suspended. Boston Airport. Interesting. Investigation suspended area deemed too hazardous at this time. Yeah, because the Brotherhood of Frickin' Steel is there. <laughs> List of informants. The following individuals have proven useful in our reclamation operations in exchange for caps. These persons have uh, past provided information on escaped synth sightings and suspected railroad activity. If you make a new contract, add the individual to the database. Cricket. <gasps> Oh, she has to die. Ooh, cricket. Tommy Longan. Uh, let's see. Owner proprietor of the combat zone. I don't know if I've been there. Oh, no, sorry. Trash can Carla. <gasps> no. Doc Weathers. Okay, AJ. Chem dealer. No. <gasps> Moroski, Lucas Miller, Henry Cook. Ooh, am I gonna have to kill all these people? Interesting. If you see any suspicious synth activity, report it immediately. Huh. Ooh, what is this? Move. I want, to, I want to go down here and see what this is. Excuse me. Hi. Excuse me. Mankind redefined. It's catchy, isn't it? I don't know, this place is super eerie. All 
our new visitor. As you know, Father has granted full access to our new visitor from the surface. That includes the entirety of the SRB. While we must accommodate Father's wishes in this matter, we must also remain diligent. Refrain from discussing any sensitive information, especially the ongoing investigation involving the Gen 3 since. In an ideal world, the railroad will have had no influence on our, on our new guest. We do not know. Oh my god, we do not live in an ideal world. Okay, infiltrator. Unit McDonough. I'm starting to wonder if M762 infiltrator Unit McDonough, who has a big intel, will live its usefulness, assuming the identity of Diamond City's mayor. <gasps> He's a synth? But he, like, got rid of the synths. Ooh. Assuming the identity of Diamond City's mayor has provided us with invaluable intelligence over the years, but suspicions have only continued to mount. This latest incident, the publication of the newspaper article specifically calling McDonough Hughes humanity into question might just be the tipping point. I've spoken to AO and we both agree if the situation doesn't become untenable, reclamation seems unfeasible. M762 was specifically engineered to mimic the actual human McDonough Hughes. As such, the unit's synthetic biology is that of someone overweight and grossly out of shape. A mem wipe would kill any psychological weakness attributed to self-perceived old age, but that body lost cause. The real irony here is that M7-62 is one of its dispatches back to the Institute requested a future posting in the coursers, citing loyalty and years of service, and that request alone was evidence enough self-awareness and independence to completely eliminate him from contention. Never mind the fact that he wouldn't even fit into the uniform. <laughs> Uh, determination when and if M762's identity is eventually compromised, the unit is effectively decommissioned in field. No reclamation, no institute assistance given its relative age and physical condition, not to mention the danger inherent in the infiltrator's unit discovery for their lifespan, estimated at two weeks maximum. Ooh. Okay. Due to recent developments in our ongoing investigations into missing sense, I am adjusting our policy regarding discussion of the subject with personnel outside of SRB. In brief, details of the investigation are now classified and cannot be shared with anyone other than SRB personnel, and even then, such conversations can take place only here in the SRB facilities. Those who are found in, to be in violation of this policy will face the strictest discipline. It has come to my attention that certain colleagues who are dissatisfied with their policies and procedures have on more than one occasion tried to circumvent our established process for registering their complaints with Father and have tried to regain access to our secure facilities in order to complain in a more direct manner. I'm sure I need not remind you that the SRB is off limits to all personnel not assigned to this division and do not allow yourself to be browbeaten cajoled, intimidated, or otherwise manipulated into allowing anyone who lacks the appropriate clearance to enter the SRB. Failure to uphold this mandate will result in severe discipline. Okay, power conservation. As you're all aware, Father has asked that we monitor our power usage carefully and try not to be as efficient and try to be as efficient as possible. As a point of personal emphasis, we should strive to be efficient in everything we do, but our division has needs that are unique among the various branches of the Institute. The fact is, sometimes our operations require resources that we cannot readily disclose due to the sensitive nature of what we do. I place my trust in your judgment. If you require additional power or any other resources to carry out your work, then take what you need. Consult me if you have any concerns or questions, but know that the responsibility of meeting your project deadlines falls upon your shoulders, and I won't accept a limited power and availability as an excuse for failing to meet those deadlines. In short, do what you need to do, and if anyone objects to the way we, in which we carry out our work, I will deal with these, those objections myself. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm tired of reading. Interesting. All right, so a new quest activated. We'll probably start working on that next video. Subject identified. It's like they want me to return all the dishes I stole. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, quest. Synth retention. Talk to father. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I can't. Uh, there's nothing. Okay, so I need to find... I'm not going to call him father. I'm going to call him Sean. Okay. All right, guys. So this video was very much just exploring the Institute. I haven't even really gone everywhere, but we did finish that first quest. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the game here for today. Um, like, did I even go in here? No, I haven't even looked in this place. We'll start the next trial then. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Okay, we'll kind of explore a little bit more. I suppose it's your job. Um, and we'll, we'll do that quest with Sean, or for Sean, I should say. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.